what we're going to be going through here is a negative note or loan amortization. This is where we're going to have an increase in our loan principal. And for example here, to generate more sales, a car dealer here offers a low down payment and no payments here for the first year for a customer purchasing a new car here. On on 1120X1, this customer purchases a new car here for $21,000. And they sign a three-year note here with an annual interest rate of 12% on this note or on this loan here and the down payment would be one thousand dollars in this case so the dealer offers here zero payments here and you don't have to pay any payments here for the first year here and that's for year one here and payments for year two and year three here are required on a quarterly basis or four payments per year here so let's go down and look at our example here so here's the customer they uh, buy this new car here for twenty one thousand dollars they pay a thousand dollars down here so what sitting on this loan or this note here is twenty thousand dollars that they're going to have to pay back here to the car dealer or the financing company here and uh, what what we're looking at here is a uh, interest rate of 12% per year and I'm only going on a quarterly basis here because it's easy enough to look at the uh, develop the payment schedule for that here rather than uh, uh, usually it would be on a monthly basis for those car payments and uh, I'm going to just look at it on a quarterly basis here. So we have four quarters in a year here. So divide that into our 12% annual interest rate. We're going to have a 3% per quarter here interest cost. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to look at this uh, note here, or this loan. H had the um, car dealer not offered this special deal, what would it be if we just played uh, uh, regular payments here, say for three years here, 12 payments uh, over a three year period here. So we'd have, uh, we'd have to determine our payment based on that here. So uh, again, we're gonna, I'm just using, you plug it into your financial calculator here, or in this case, I'm using Excel. So I'm using that 3% interest rate here per quarter here. And we're over our three year period, we're gonna have uh, uh, four quarters per year, three years, so we have 12 quarters here. And the present value here would be $20,000 that we have to pay back. And we're just saying we're paying them at the end of the period here. So our payment amount per quarter here per payment period is $2,009, approximately $2,000. So let's go and let's set up our amortization schedule here. And again, this is just based on uh, had we not taken this special offer here, we just uh, bought this car and paid uh, the regular uh, quarterly payments here and uh, over the three year periods, this is what we'd have here. So uh, what I'm showing here is our our payment amount here, that's a payment per quarter. That's what we would calculate it. That was to amortize this note or to pay this uh, loan off here, we'd have to pay $2,009 per quarter here. And uh, our interest expense here, well, we'd start out with our loan amount here of $20,000 times uh, 3% uh, per the quarter here, uh, times, in this case, 20,000 times 6, 3% is $600. So how we'd amortize this is we just, Comp uh, take the difference here. We'd be uh, for our principal reduction here. It would simply be taking the cash payment amount here of two thousand and nine dollars less our interest expense of six hundred, and we come up with a principal reduction here of fourteen hundred and nine dollars. So we would just subtract that here from our beginning balance here of twenty thousand, and that gives us our new amortized balance that we have to pay on this loan of eighteen thousand five hundred ninety-one dollars. Okay, and we just continue on through that here. So, but what we want to look at here is on a regular basis here if we just paid this uh, note or this loan off on a regular basis you can see here we have a decreasing amount here in our balance or the principal amount here uh, simply the difference between the interest expense here and the cash payment that would be the principal amount that we're reducing for each of those periods here on this balance so you can see here declining principal amount until we got down to our last payment period here and we paid it off and we'd have essentially a zero balance here so our payments um, the payment here includes the interest plus the principal amount. So uh, in this case, our total amount here was $24,108 and the interest expense would have been $4,108. So the principal reduction was that total loan amount here of $20,000. Simply the payment amount here less the total interest gives us the total principal that we uh, that we paid off here. So you can see that here. This is if we just bought this car on, on, their, re, on their regular terms here. So now let's go up and look at what we're talking about here for this uh, negative amortization. So now we've, uh, the car dealer, we're going to look at it in terms of it where the 
we have these no payments for the first year here and I'm going to show this amortization schedule again zero payments for the first year and again we're working off four quarters here for the year and our amortization schedule will be shown here and this is where we're going to come up with this negative amortization this is what we have to take away from this here and this is for the loan we're going to be look at where the loan balance increases here so our payment amount here we're not paying any payment amount for this these first these four four quarters for the first year here so zero here but interest we're running up interest on this loan here so again looking at the first period here uh, we have that 3% per quarter that we uh, calculated here based on that 12% annual rate here. Uh, take that times, again, this is the beginning balance here. $20,000 that's what we bore, borrowed here. So we come up with our interest expense for the period here, 600. And then what would happen here? Well, we didn't have any payment amount here. So we're, not, we're, we're adding our interest here onto the B beginning balance here. So for this first period here, we have that $600 interest cost here and we're going to add it to our balance amount here at $20,600. And then we would just continue on amortizing it this way. And again, negative amortization. What is happening here is our loan balance is actually increased. So we started out with this $20,000 amount due on the loan or this note that we signed here. And when we end up at the end of the first year here, we're going to end up with $22,510 that we owe. And that's simply the um, so, uh, total of our interest cost here for the year here. Uh, we come up with uh, $2,509. Uh, same amount, uh, same as what would be added. 20000 here plus the $2,509. Well, it gives us $22,010 here. So this is where we get this negative amortization. So how are we going to deal with that here for the next two years here? So what's happening here? Uh, we're going to have to recalculate our payments here per quarter where we're going to amortize this remaining two years here due on this note here. So that would be the next eight quarters that we're looking at here, four quarters per year. So again, just putting it into your calculator here, I'm using the Excel function here for the payment. 3% uh, uh, per quarter. Now we're going to have eight quarters here uh, for the next two years here, four quarters per year. And the present value that we have to deal with is that uh, amortized amount that negative amortization here of $22,510. That's what's sitting uh, as a carrying value here on this note at the end of the first year. So we put that in here and we're going to determine our payment to pay off this loan now for these the next two years here is $3,207. So uh, taking our loan balance here at the end of the first year, sticking it in here to determine our payment amount, we're going to come up with, uh, again, the payment here of $3,207 here per quarter. Now remember, the original payment here was for $2,009, but now uh, since we didn't have to pay any pay, uh, payment for the first year here, now in the second year we're going to have to pay $3,207. So this is just for comparison purposes here. So now looking at our amortization schedule here based on this new payment amount here where we recalculated here for year two and year three. Now here's where we're sitting. With our payment amount here, you can see we're sitting with $3,207 here per quarter for our payments and we got eight quarters here. And just for comparison, remember our original payment here was $2,009. Now it moved up here to $3,207. So we've roughly increased it here by $1,200. So is are you happy as a customer here when you sign this note here and you originally uh, say the car dealer, you ask, what is it going to cost me on a payment here? And you says, well, putting it into the, their uh, calculator here, or the, they come up with a payment here of $2,000 per quarter. Now you come here at the beginning of the second year, and you're going to get this bill here for $3,207 per quarter here. So you can see the comparison here. It might be a shocker for you when you get that uh, $1,200 increase here. Okay, and just to amortize that down again, remember we started out with this new loan balance here. That was what's sitting on the uh, carrying value of that note here at the end of the first year, $22,510. $22, Originally, we owned 
old only 20,000, but now we're sitting here at 22,510. Take that times your quarterly interest rate here of 3%, and you're going to come up with this first period here of $675 here. So what do we, we reduce our principal here by the difference between our interest expense here, 675, and our quarterly payment here, $3,207. So our balance, our uh, principal reduction is going to be the difference here, $2,532. So subtracting that from your beginning balance here, $22,510, you come up with your next uh, begin next quarter's beginning balance here, $19,978. And then just take that times your quarterly interest rate here, 3% here. You're going to come up with your new interest that uh, you'll be paying here uh, based on the interest portion here of the payment of $3,207 would be $599, and then the principal with reduction would be just simply the difference between those two for $2,608, and then just take that from your beginning balance, and then you reduce your principal by that amount here. So, okay, so what we've done is we've amortized it over the uh, years two and three here uh, down to zero here. But just remember, our payment had increased here be due to that negative amortization here on that first year here and the fact that we didn't pay any payments on the first year, uh, it increased here. So what we end up with interest here, well, we had uh, for this years two and three, we had $3,144 plus years one interest here at $2,509. So our total interest here uh, based on this special deal here that the uh, dealer offered was $5,653. And and had we followed the original uh, payment scheme here with the three years of regular payments here per quarter here, we would have paid $4,108 interest. So this is what you have to look at when you're looking at these uh, uh, special deals here and what we would call the negative amortization here of a loan here. And that's where you're going to be paying for it extra with extra payment costs here later on. And we can go back and look at that here again. Okay, so let's just go back up here and look at it. Okay, so these no payments here for the first year here, just looking, re-looking at our amortization schedule here, and that's all we're going to do here. I, I'm just going to the extreme here where we're saying there's zero payments here, but it would be, just say for example, it would be a very low payment here, and then you would have to still, even with any or a very low payment here, uh, based, if it was based on your interest expense here uh, that you're experiencing a total interest expense here at three percent here per quarter you would still probably be amortizing up here your loan amount or you wouldn't be paying anything off on your loan amount here so what you really have to be looking at uh, is that negative amortization and getting and understanding that so what we're really looking at here is just so you get an understanding of the negative amortization that's where you're not paying off any here on your note um, that's due here or your loan balance, it's actually increasing in this case here. Or it's not, uh, the, the payment here is not redu reducing any of your loan amount here. But again, your interest is growing here on this loan. All right, so this is just touching on negative amortization here and how this uh, the loan balance increases in this case here simply because we're not making any payments here, but we're experiencing the interest cost here on this loan.